How are you guys doing today? This is Ayokunle from Blooming Gardens. Yeah, over the last few months, we've been thinking and playing around with our uh, watering system, our irrigation system, water generation, basically how to get water out of our borehole, how to get enough in terms of quantity, in terms of timing, and in terms of quality. So, of course, yeah, most of us uh, that run farms in the aqua area, we're mostly having to depend on boreholes. Uh, so most people have bow systems that are powered by powered by submersible pumps that are electrically powered and the likes. So we spend a lot of money on petrol, diesel, or whatever it is that we use for combustion. Um, and o over the months, as we have seen uh, with the current scenario playing out in the country, fuel cost, petrol, diesel, crazy crazy so a few months ago we invested in some solar systems but um, the, in, the system we put in place here was not producing the right quantity of water that we needed so we had to rejig it and rejig it and finally i think we have gotten it right now so first things first this reservoir that we have here yeah this whole entire reservoir is basically constructed into the ground with wood all right we just use wood we dug a hole in the ground then we use wood to build like a frame inside then on top of that frame we just put like a tarpaulin this kind of cover is actually the ones that we didn't finish using all right so we just put the tarpaulin into it and it becomes like a big reservoir so the last time we checked this one was able to give us about was able to hold about twenty thousand liters of water about 20,000 liters of water. So when we initially put in our submersible pumps, um, the submersible was six solar panels with a, a DC pump, and we were struggling in a whole day. We were struggling to get roughly about five, 6,000 liters of water, which was grossly inadequate for what we wanted. Uh, but we had to tweak it and rejig it. Finally, we had to change the submersible pump to a DC pump, sorry, to an AC DC pump, um you can call me or send me a dm and i'll send you the specs of the pump but it's an ac dc pump and we increased the solar panels also to about 10 different panels about 10 panels now and now we are getting almost like 35 to 40 thousand liters of water on a bright sunny day it starts working as early as 8 8 30 in the morning and doesn't shut down till around 5 5 30 in the evening depends again on how bright the day is now it's 11:58 as I'm doing this video, and this is like 80% full right now. So that's like almost half day, and it's 80% full. And today has been a very dull day. It's actually rained overnight, so the clouds we had cloud cover early in the morning. It did not start pumping until around nine today, and even at that, it was a bit slow. But right now it's midday. Look at the pressure of the water coming out and the reservoir is almost full. I'm sure in another one hour it's going to be full. So we still might be able to get two of these, probably about 40,000 liters in a day. I'm saying all of this so that um, in case you are interested in investing in um, a solar system to power and get water on your farm, it is the way to go, considering the cost of fuel. Uh, when I did this, just before, uh, I think I bought the pump, uh everything for the pump and the solar panels everything cost me probably about 1.5 million all right um before i bought it i was spending on fuel every week with uh, 610 620 naira per liter of fuel i was spending every week roughly about 30 to 40 thousand naira on fuel and this is just one reservoir by the way i have two of it so i have another one over there doing very well doing the same volumes all right so i was spending about forty thousand naira on fuel and it was not even enough so really for me to be enough on fuel i will be spending about 50k a week that translates to about two hundred thousand naira a month multiply that by six or seven that's 1.5 million so basically this system pays for itself in seven months in seven months you have recovered all your cost and you are home and dry you know about panels panels are 10 years these submersible pumps they, they last for five ten years if nothing is wrong with it if you manage it well so that's the story i wanted to share today with you guys in case you are looking at how to save money on your farm 
if you're running a farm in Lagos right now, the way to go is to move away from fuel and petrol and engines and all those stuff. You know, we have pumps. I have a pump cover over there, somewhere over there. Shut it down. I have a generator. I'm looking at selling now. It's a diesel generator. I'll walk there now and show you. All right, so this is the diesel generator. We packed it up for like almost a year now. We haven't used it. So if anybody is interested, come and buy. I want to sell it off. It's of no use to me again. I've moved away completely away from petrol and the likes. We're going to be solely solar systems. We just harvested this corn. All right, so this 500, we planted 500 grams of corn here. And uh, we, so far, we have harvested 464. Do the maths. 464 plus 89 plus uh, 51 today. What's that? 464 plus 51. Uh, 500. And yeah, so 464 plus 89 plus 51 is 604, I think, 604 kilograms. We got that from 500 grams of corn, all right? Uh, that's a very, very good uh, return. And we've been doing that consistently for some time now. So that's our story today. We have harvested. I'm leaving the farm just about now. Um, beautiful day in the farm. We've harvested. Habaneros, we harvested sweet corn, we harvested poppers, we have harvested, um, what else did we harvest? Okra, yes. So we had okra, sweet corn, habaneros, and we're going to be taking that to the farm, to the market today to sell. Uh, right. We just recently transplanted our tomatoes. Yeah, so you can see all of them. We just transplanted these ones on, uh, I think it was on, today's Friday, I think it was on Monday. Transplanted. We have about um, 13,000 plants of tomatoes that has gone into the field right now. We expect that these ones should be ready in the first week of May. First to second week of May. Alright, we should be hitting the market. Anyway, this is me, Ayokule, signing out. If you like this video... Click on the subscribe button. Forward it to a friend, someone that wants to learn something about farming. If you're happy with what we're doing, tell us about it in the comment section. If you don't like it, send me a DM. Don't talk about it in the open space. Alright? I'll see you on the next video. Bye.